Hi, I'm Greg Reitinger with Denison Yachting. Today I'm in beautiful Destin, Florida on a yacht that is as unique as she is special. A 78 foot Horizon cockpit motor yacht, 2013, named the Wild Duck. Affectionately known to her friends and family as just the duck because the knower is the lover. I'm looking forward to spending a few minutes today and helping you get to know a member of the family. Welcome aboard. Starting all the way aft is the integrated swim platform. At 24 inches wide, the platform makes for safe boarding while tied to floating docks. It's conveniently equipped with a grab rail for security and both fresh and raw water washdowns, making any cleanup chores a snap. The oversized transom tuna door is meant to be used for landing that fish of a lifetime, but it also makes easy access to the cockpit from the swim platform. The star feature of the cockpit is the massive centerline live well with viewing window that allows you to monitor your bait. As you approach from the transom, you can't miss the beautiful teak covering boards that have been freshly sanded and groomed that encompass the entire cockpit. The impressively oversized fair leaves with rollers not only prevent chafe, but they also make towing a tender extremely safe as well. You'll also notice the watertight door that allows you to gain access to the crew area without entering the salon. This not only can add a layer of privacy for the owner and guests, but it offers a much quicker access to the engine room if needed. I'd also like to mention about this space that it's the epitome of why you're looking to buy a boat. It brings the family together. Imagine a boat that at the end of a single day allows him to tell fishing stories and she can sip champagne on the aft deck above, looking down from elevated and protected perch in comfort and away from the action, but yet both can be a part of the whole experience. Now let's move up to that aft deck so I can show you what outdoor comfort and functionality is all about. Gaining access to the deck is done from either port or starboard side steps. Having the option of both provides fluid access between the spaces. And in my opinion, one of the nicest benefits of even having a cockpit is there's no need for the inconvenience of transom gates. The centerpiece is a book matched high gloss teak table that can easily seat eight. It has a large molded bench seat on one side and the option of placing chairs on the other. From this position of comfort, if you're not watching the action of the cockpit below, you can choose to watch the TV that drops down on the ceiling to the starboard, or just relax and make yourself a cocktail. Equipped with a sink, an ice maker, and a refrigerator that's located just next to the wet bar. From here, you can also choose to walk up the spiral staircase, which is one of two ways to gain access to the flybridge or walk forward to the salon. The first impression you get of the salon are the clean lines, easy traffic pattern flow, and a feeling of comfortable elegance that invites you to take a seat and relax. As you enter the salon through the stainless steel sliding glass doors, immediately to port is one of two entry points to the crew quarters, but we'll come back to that later. The salon's lit tray ceiling and high gloss cabinetry add those touches of elegance while the seating for seven and conveniences at the touch of a button like a pop-up TV and all electric blinds make it more comfortable to enjoy. Moving forward is the galley and country kitchen. I can't hold myself back from saying Horizon has knocked it out of the park designing Wild Duck. This galley area encompasses everything a chef and captain could dream of in this space. The galley will definitely inspire your inner foodie because it includes not only a full-size overhead microwave, flat top stove, and electric range, but also features four refrigerator freezer drawers in addition to a full-size upright refrigerator. Afterwards, cleanup is a snap too because of the double sink with drying rack, built-in trash compactor, and dishwasher. They say there's only room for one cook in the kitchen. That's not the case on Wild Duck. Notice how big the galley is, plus the enormous countertop that makes food prep and delivery so easy. You can enjoy casual meals at the well-thought-out country kitchen. Flooded with natural light from the overhead brow windows, it easily seats eight due to its horseshoe-shaped entries 
and the two swivel bar stools. This is also the perfect spot for the captain to step away from the upstairs helm, come down for a snack and still be able to maintain full control of the vessel because of this little beauty, the lower helm. Hidden away for aesthetics, but thoughtfully located, this is a full helm command station. Throttles, bow and stern thruster, full navionics, engine information. It doesn't get any more ingenious than this. The last thing I'd like to point out about this base is the day head located to port adjacent to the galley counter. Just after the day head is the first of two ways to access the flybridge. The second flybridge access point is the curved set of stairs on the aft deck. This is yet another area that makes the duck special. It's comprised of two distinct entertaining areas plus the upper helm that offers the complete control and command of the ship. Fully enclosed and air conditioned, no matter what the weather is, you can enjoy this space. In my opinion, the flybridge is the best space on the boat. Let's start breaking down the space by starting at the tender deck. Here you'll find the 1500 pound davit that launches and retrieves the inflatable dinghy, which stores on custom chocks. And as you can tell by these two chairs, this is a great place just to sit and relax, wait for the meal to come off the grill and enjoy a sunset. Just forward of the tender deck on the starboard side is your grilling station. This isn't your normal rod holder grill, all stainless steel construction right down to the burners and grates. It offers two zone grilling, that not only allows you to sear, but also do indirect grilling for those meals that need a little more cooking time. While the grill master is doing his thing, the guests can enjoy ocean breezes with sundowners in hand while catching waves of the intense aromas in anticipation of the meal being prepared al fresco. The starboard side dinette can be used for dining, reading, or just relaxing. Adjacent to the port side is the full wet bar that includes everything needed for those nights of entertaining. A refrigerator, ice maker, oversized sink, a bar, and with three built-in swivel stools. All the way forward of the flybridge is of course the helm. Any captain would be comfortable in the centerline stid helm seat because every component of it is adjustable. It's flanked by the two large forward-facing lounges that give guests a great view and a comfortable place to keep the captain company. Equipped with Garmin Electronics, ABT stabilizers, bow and stern thruster, Fusion stereo, Bennett trim tabs, and two VHFs in addition to both ONN generator control panels, the captain can navigate, monitor, and control every system from the helm. The current owner's most favorite thing about the duck is how safe it is for kids and pets to move forward. The extra high bulwark and handrail make it worry-free. Once on the bow, between the centerline sun pad and the forward cushion seating, there's room for everyone to enjoy starting the day. Just forward of the guest lounging space is the twin Maxwell 3500 windlasses and the ship-sized fair leads with large chain locker just aft. Having shown you all the exterior spaces, now we're gonna go ahead and jump back inside and show you the interior spaces, starting with the Midship Master. The Midship Full Beam Master generously welcomes any seagoing traveler. Abundant storage, two walk-in cedar line closets, a built-in vanity with swivel stool and plenty of shelf space for all your belongings. Everything in this space is based around a forward-facing king bed. It has drawer space underneath and matching nightstands to either side. To port is the ensuite head with double sinks and stand-up shower that offers twin shower heads. Leaving the master and moving forward immediately to starboard is the bunk room. With over seven foot of ceiling height, 
full entertainment package, and a generous size shower stall, any guest will feel at home here. In the bow is the Queen VIP. Here again, ample ceiling height makes the space feel big. The centerline Queen Island bed is easy to slip into at night and to make up in the morning because of the access on both sides. Rich burled wood accents and countertops and a full fabric headboard along with vinyl ceiling help with any noise reduction. Now that we've wrapped up the guest accommodations, let's jump back to the crew accommodations. The crew quarters are definitely large and elegant enough to let guests stay in. The Duck has two crew, both with ensuite heads. One is a double bunk while the other is a captain's berth. The captain's area is also where we find the second washer and dryer set. Just forward of the crew is a watertight engine room bulkhead and access door. Stepping through, the space is dominated by the twin Caterpillar C32 1600 horsepower engines with stainless steel wrapped exhaust. These things are gorgeous and the engine room is clean enough to eat off of. All services are up to date and if you're looking for a turnkey ready boat, this is your next adventure. I've had a lot of fun today walking you through Wild Duck, the 2013 78 Horizon cockpit motor yacht. If you feel your family is looking to grow and would like to see the duck in person, please give me a call. It'd be my pleasure to arrange an introduction.